zippity doo da beautiful day great to be alive hey what's up everyone this is chris brown here again uh now before we go ahead and get started if you don't know how to how to save a file into your computer uh a video or a couple of videos ago we did show you how to do that because you are going to need that uh for the today's video so um if you look down below directly underneath this video you're going to click on the link link and it's going to take you to a page like what you see in front of you now as we scroll down the page if you're already signed in you're going to see exactly what you see in front of you if you don't see that uh it might say uh it might have a little spot for you to have your put your email address and a password and hit the submit button that way you can go ahead and log in but if you're already logged in it's going to look pretty much the same like what you see in front of you now, like I said, a, a couple of videos or so ago, we showed you how to, how to save a file into your computer. If you don't know how to do that, you want to go back and watch that video. Um, but what we're going to do is, is if you look down below directly underneath this video, you can save the file that we're going to work on in today's video. This is your advertising campaign for offline marketing. So what we're going to do here is we're going to come down here where it says choose files we're going to select that little button there and we're going to work on some of the different uh campaigns that we have available for you so in this in this video let's go ahead and work on the the uh, poll tag flyer now depending on what ad campaign that you're currently working on uh, depends on what the entire title is is going to be called so as you can see this advertising campaign is uh, bail out but you want to look at your campaign details which you'll see down below directly underneath this video for that to get the headline to get the full details about this in particular campaign so let's go ahead and select open and then we're going to come over here and we're all going to have to select open again and it's going to take just a minute or so for it to load up now one of the things that i've mentioned in in some of our previous videos as we've been doing this uh, this is these ad campaigns may look pretty basic to you it's not high graphics or anything like that and, and the reason for that is because we want to focus more on the sales message you know what happens a lot of times is is businesses get focused so much on you know the aesthetics of it and having a nice pretty picture uh and you know just the the looks of it well what we would really want to focus on is our advertising message and that's really what's important just as a, as a side note i had a guy that uh, that spent four hundred dollars on a graphic designer to have a graphic design made and i helped him over the phone to create a ad campaign like what we're doing here in this video and he just totally blew away the results of, of something that he paid $400 for. And basically with us, we got it for free. He just had to print up his own, his own material. That was the only difference or has somebody, he could still have had somebody print it up for him. But this type of advertising is the most effective type. Um, generally, you're going to see a, a, a conversion or a result of about 10 to 20% as opposed to zero, zero point you know, 1% of what you would see with the traditional type of advertising that you're used to seeing. Now, as you can see, it's a little, uh, we're going to have to fix a couple of stuff. It's a little moved around and stuff. But uh, first thing that you're going to see is you're going to see your headline at the top. Now, depending on what type of advertising campaign that you're working on, depends what you're going to see. So uh, as long as you can as long as I go ahead and move some of this over just a little bit, you will see where it says discover the secrets. So the campaign that I'm currently working on is discover the secrets to adding three to $500 per month through a series of, or uh, uh, discover the secrets of adding three to $500 per month added onto your paycheck through a series of governmental stimulus programs. And then you see text the keyword to 96,000 or visit the URL, which is the website though. So that's really the only thing that we need to change. Um, so let's go ahead and start working on this. So first of all, what is your call to action? What do you want people to do? Chances are you're working with the mobile marketing platform. So chances are at this point, you have also already set up your, your short code. So in my case, mine is ProStar. And then our our uh, our number that people are going to text this to is ninety six thousand. So text the keyword 
ProStar to 96,000. Or visit the website. And again, what we're going to do to be able to change that, we just put our cursor there. As you can see, it's flashing. And now I'm going to type in ProStarProfits.com and then delete everything after that. And that's pretty simple. Um, what I have done as well, what you might decide to do, let's say you want to make it stick out just a little bit. So the way that you do this is you put your cursor right here. As you can see, it's flashing. Hold down the left mouse button, drag it all across, and then we can change the color. Let's say I'm going to change it to orange. Okay, and then I'll do the same thing with my website address as well. And then I'll change it to orange again. And there it is. So there's two different shades of orange that I chose from. And then if I want to go ahead and let's say change the uh, change this and move this around, I can also do that as well. Now, when you do that, one thing I did forget to, to mention, make sure you have selected edit all of them. Okay, edit all of them. Because if you don't, you're going to have to go back and, and edit uh, you're going to have to go back and uh, uh, edit each individual one because as you can see here's the flyer up here but now here if I let's say click on this it's the poll tags so I'm going to have to do the same thing here so I will have to text and then I'll put my keyword Whoops. and this one because it's set at an angle is a little tricky to work with find it so let's go back one and then we'll go pro star and then I can delete that and then where it says URL I'll do the same thing so it's pro star profits dot com and then I do the same thing with the next one well actually what I could do is instead I could just copy this and as you can see it's highlighted so you know how to do that you want to put your CTR button and then hold down your letter C so that's on the bottom of your key I might be able to do it just like this too um, let me see let me try this I'm not sure if it will allow me to do it that way Nope. So here's what you need to do is you put your cursor there, hold down your left mouse button, drag it all across till it highlights. Oops. Let me do that one more time till everything is highlighted. On your keyboard, you have a CTRL button, stands for control. Um, on my keyboard, and chances are it will be on your keyboard around the same area, it's, on the, it's all the way to the left on the bottom row of your keys closest towards you so hold down that button and press the letter c okay and that will copy it now i come back over here and i'll hold that left button down and do the ctrl button hold that down again and press the letter v and then do it a third time and then press the letter v okay now as you can see it's a little these little arrows are a little bit not positioned correctly and depends on how much text that you have depends if you're going to need to do that or not but you do want to make sure that people can see the whole thing and then you just do it like that right now because i so i selected edit all as you can see here if i click on each one of these it says the same thing it's copied it onto every single one of these and so you know it's a pull deck flyer so uh you know you just make sure that you cut the strips or somebody else cuts the, the maybe you have a printing company that cuts the strips for you and um you know that that way that people if you where where you post it up people can just go ahead and rip this off uh, now when i did something like this i the first campaign that i did something like this for i delivered i put i'll show you how i posted up the signs and maybe in another video but uh i delivered a hundred flyers and out of these hundred flyers it generated me 
about, what was it? That was $1,087 in sales in 72 hours just by, some, by doing something like this. Uh, so it is a very effective marketing campaign. I've done it before. Um, you just And I'll talk to you about how to strategically position these as we go on here. But uh, uh, here's how to go ahead and do that. Now what you want to do, now you have it all saved or have it all how you want it. Now what you're going to do is you're going to come over here and click the Save button. And it's going to ask you to save it to your online account, which you can do that as well. But uh, we, uh, and probably what I would suggest you to do now is to save it onto your online account. And then you could go ahead and select save, or you could just go ahead and resave it back into your computer as well. You could do that as well if you wanted to. Um, if you do save it into your computer though, it's gonna ask you if you want to overwrite the existing file name. And you just wanna say yes when you do that, okay? So let me kind of show you what I mean by that. So we'll click save. It's going to bring up the little dialog box. Let's go ahead and select download. And it's going to put it here. And then it's going to uh, bail out tag flyer already exists. Do you want to replace it? Now in my case, I'm going to say no, but in your case, you want to say yes. Okay, but that's all we're going to do in this in particular video. Now, uh, I, I, we do have some other advertising campaigns that we're gonna show you how to create as well. But from here, I'm gonna show you how to go ahead and print your advertising campaign. And then if you want somebody to go ahead and print it for you, I'll show you how to do that as well. But we'll do that in our next video. But take care everyone, have a great day. We'll see you in our next video. Bye-bye now.